In this video, I'm going to show you how to stream Google Pub sub data with Python. In the last video, we saw how to set up webhooks on Shopify that allows you to stream data from Shopify into GCP using Google Pub sub. In this video, I'm going to build on that example and show you how to access that data with Python for further processing. We'll start off by creating a service account on GCP and a key that allows us to access the data. So go to the upper left hamburger menu, APIs and services, credentials, and then create credentials, service account. We'll fill in a name, let's call it PubSub Pi. Create and continue. And as roles, we're going to select PubSub Admin. And then just press continue. And we don't have to fill out the last part. So just press done. To get the key that we need, we select the service account we just created. Then we go to keys, add key, create new key, and we select JSON. And now we just downloaded the JSON key that we need to access the pub sub topic. The next thing we need is the subscription name or subscription ID. So we go to subscriptions and choose the topic that we set up in the last video. And at the bottom of this page, we can see the default subscription we created when we set up the topic. We click on it and then we can copy the subscription name. All right, let's write the code that we need to access the data. We're going to start off by pip installing Google Cloud pops up. Then we're going to import OS, we're going to import JSON, and we're going to import pops up version one from Google Cloud. We're going to put the subscription name that we just collected from TCP in a string variable. Then we're going to load the JSON file, popsup.json that we downloaded when we set up the service account. And then we're going to use OS to set up the environment. The message we're going to fetch will contain an order from Shopify. We're going to select a few fields from that. We're going to select ID, customer, email, line items, and the price. And I'm going to use those fields directly in a callback function and print out the value of those fields. And the way we actually get the data is we set up a subscriber using subscriber client in PubSub. And then we use that subscriber client to subscribe using the subscription name and the callback function. A future is then returned when a message is published to the topic. So let's try this out. I have a browser open with the Shopify development store and I have the code we just saw here. And I'm going to subscribe to the topic and then I'm going to create an order. I'm going to buy these Adidas shoes. We'll fill in some customer details. Let's call the customer John Doe. And I'm going to place the test order and pay using the bogus gateway. And watch the subscriber, what happens once the order has been confirmed. And there we go. Here's the data that we just streamed with the fields that were specified in the callback. Now you can do whatever you want with this data. You can send it to a database or you can process it and send it to a new topic. And there are a lot more fields that you can fetch in the order object than this. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for similar content in the future. Thanks for watching.